This week we got Shortest Marathon, Crossbow Tooth Fairy, and Deadly Habit. That's a new I song. think that's the best one. Yeah, I like that All one. Right, Try right. to recreate It's that game one. showy. Do it again. You changed it already. Welcome yeah, back to Weekend Scramble. It changed for good. your host, Steve Green, the lovely Tiff, and uh, today we're going to talk about Razor Edge Tooth Fairy. What was it? <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was good, Tiff. <laughs> Nice mugging. <laughs> All right, so for our first story, there's this Texas town named Bourne that are holding their first annual 0.5K run. 0.5K. <laughs> What's 0.5K? So what is that, like fucking 20 like feet? 500 yards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How far is that? 500 yards. That's like from here to the end of the room. That's like one lap. Uh, well, it's five ba uh, five football fields, but it's... Oh, it's five football fields. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is it's a little short. Long room, Ryan. Like, this you is mean five room. Room. Uh, no, no, straight across, way. straight across, yeah. yeah. A football field's like 100 yards, so five of them. Or it's like 100 yards more than like one lap. They're saying that it should take no more than 10 minutes. Sick. So for these people... To for who? For the sign up people. I'm not mad at it. Yeah, so this is for a charity call, a local charity. Because I was thinking it should take no more than two minutes to complete. I mean, that's if you're really trying your hardest. No, just for like, if you don't finish in two minutes, you need to check yourself. What if you're just walking? Then they need to kill you for a while. <laughs> two minutes to run back and forth five times at a, in a football I don't even think field? you can do that. What? Two minutes. A point five k Yeah, I don't think you can do it in two minutes. But that's five laps. Back and forth, or or let's go get. Do we have a GoPro? Play. Can we get? Can we have Bart run? I don't right think now? you can do it in two minutes. A football okay, field. We'll put it this way: a football player, which is an elite athlete, right? A forty-yard dash is under five seconds. Yeah, but that's them going full speed. Yeah. So the whole thing is under ten seconds. Yeah, but how many football players could run full speed back and forth five times? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's a little different. They can do it. No, because I see like Des Bryant yeah, charge down the field, right? But it's only hundred yards. Yeah, but he can do it like two times. And he could spend the rest of one minute and 45 seconds crawling. So you think everyone players. signing up to this are football players? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying 10 minutes is a long time for. I think. I'm I saying I don't think you can here. do it when you're you're, you're not an cut average. Cut two, Bart on the track. I don't yeah. even think. Let's cut two. Let's cut. I don't think you can do it in two minutes. I could do it because I remember this. In two minutes. So what I do remember is this, and the reason why I'm, I stand behind my numerical guarantee is I remember in sixth grade Olympics, and I'm a slow runner, I ran the 400 yard in 54 seconds. So that's under a minute. How do you remember that? And I'm a, because- Crowning achievement. He's obsessed with fitness. Because I was- He's like, what a bitch. I was, and in sixth grade, I was probably three feet tall. <laughs> literally, literally three feet tall. That I believe, that, that number I believe. And I ran that in 54 seconds. All right, why you gotta shit on this? It's for charity, and it's probably yeah. for people that have never moved in their fucking life. I thought it was for tro trollity. No, it sounds like no, it's for charity. But it's like your charity trolling. Oh, it. it's a troll. Oh, it's a bit. I'm it sounds like it. the it's a bit. Yep. I'm for it. That's Paul Rust, right? It's promoting. Oh, that. That's a troll. What the fuck? That's that's what I thought. It was like it's a big fucking joke. World's shortest merit like run or whatever. How do you like shitting on comedy now, Bart? I love it. Oh, okay. Love it. <laughs> yeah, so this is for a local charity called, called Blessings in a Backpack where they feed... What is that? Where they feed kids, like students and stuff. Yeah, so they put the food in the backpack? I don't know. The point Who is fucking cares? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna one up there. Why? Why? Get ready for the six inch run. Yeah. It's the half a foot run. There you go. Yeah. I like it. So the, these parts, <laughs> I'm gonna buy shoes, the whole fucking outfit. Do it, yeah. Why get out of bed? Yeah, yeah, go! Yeah, why can't you just roll over once in bed and get charity money? Yeah. Why so not? These participants, it's a, so they paid a $25 entry fee. They get a free beer at the beginning and a free beer at the end. And That's the price of it. They have a donut and coffee hydration station. That's awesome. And then they'll they'll also get a t-shirt and a. That's why it's ten minutes because you get drunk halfway through. I think it's genius. I think it's it's effective. It's it's going out to do what it needs to do. So yeah, they've getting, already reached capacity. Right. So it's getting it's getting the the. The people that would never do this, yeah, and they're gonna feel good about themselves. They're yep. gonna participate. Yep, yep, yep. They're like, cool. I'm gonna do some fitness shit. It's so not gonna never kill me. This? I'm what? not intimidated. Can you paint this ideal person so I can picture? She's who picturing a fat fuck. No, a fat fuck. Steve would do it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Do, a, do a, a point five k. I would do it if I was on like a dirt bike. 
Because I feel like 0.5K is more than what Steve would want to do anyway. But you would do it, like, if Nikki was like, I want to do it, then you're like, oh yeah, I'm in. If Nikki, yeah, yeah, if Nikki were to do it, I'd have to do it. Because it's not intimidating, right? But if it was a 10K, you're like, nah, I love you, baby, but not Here's the much. thing, Nikki and I have a deal, where if I do something and that she makes me do, I have the right to complain about it the entire time. Nice. <laughs> and that's the deal. So you would do a 10K? Absolutely not. Right, exactly, but you would probably do this, because it's not- Yeah, I would do it for the beer, I'd be in it for the beer. You yeah. see? Yeah. And that fight's genius. How many miles is a 10, five, I don't know these fucking European- For a 10K? Why the fuck do they use these- 10K is like seven, eight miles. It's like 24 liters. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, all this shit, I'm like- So like, okay, so 5K is half of that? 5K is three miles. Oh. A little, bit over, a little bit over three miles. Why, so is it like these 5K, 10K, and then they go marathon? Yeah, they usually build up to it or whatever. Do you know the numbers? Like, what are the numbers? Isn't it like 20 something, 26? I know what the marathon number is, but that's 26. That. Uh, the like half a marathon is like 13. Why can't they do a cakewalk for for charity? That's what's up. This is what they're trying to do. No, 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 but I'm an even simpler. You keep it is into one room. It's yeah, six inch, out. half a foot marathon. Have you, but have you done a cakewalk? What's a cakewalk? No. It's a blast. I don't even do charity walks, fuck that. Here, let me, let me, let me bring you in. I just give money. Let me bring you into my white world. Okay, <laughs> where you're all- I feel a, better already. You're, yeah. Thank you. You're in a big circle in like a gymnasium. Okay. okay. Everyone stands on a number, and everyone there brought a cake, a pretty dope looking cake, oh, right? Actual cake. Yeah, and it's like musical chairs. When you stop on the number and they say, okay, stop, that's the cake that you get to the corresponding number. Right? And how then you fun. just go pick up the cake. It's the fucking best thing ever. And how does oh. that benefit homeless people? I don't know. <laughs> So it's like Secret it's Santa, but show. like kids. How does that benefit hungry kids? No idea. What, yeah, what is it for? I know you buy tickets to the cakewalk, oh, and that oh, money oh. goes to the chair. Oh, so it's chair. like a musical chair, but then you can win a cake. I feel like everyone this is that, but now we're in the era that fitness is like key. Like everyone's but trying to get 500 it. yards. Like I think you burn that many calories chewing on cake. Yeah, I never <laughs> understood. I never understood these like walks, like like AIDS walks, Same. breast cancer walk. It's like. How does walking? I think it's about ego. Of course, a hundred percent. Yeah, because you know when people. Well, say, I'm doing this for. It's yeah. like, well, just give them, give them the money, you fuck. It's what a low key finish? mark. You're not gonna give them the it's money. It's fun. It's a low. Key Is it fun? Mark. Well, because I, I had classmates that would be like, "Would you sponsor me for this fucking breast cancer awareness walk?" I'm like, "Fuck no." Yeah. <laughs> fuck no, dude. <laughs> It it's does, provocative. It, it's provocative. It does, it does get people going. I did a. Uh, I, did a <laughs> I ain't sponsoring shit. I think I did a. Either I'll give you money. That's one. it. Or I did a mental health one. Yeah. <laughs> you only sponsored fucking uh, Girl Scouts because you get the cookie. But then it's about the ego, right? Where it's like I'm doing the training for this. It's all I'm about you. It's, it's actually yeah. not about. It's always that. about that. It's actually not about that. So you get. I did one for mental health in college. He's not gonna agree with us at all today. Let's okay. just let's just get used to it. Well, no, because I did one. So you know, next, next story, Tiffany. I'm done. Fine. I'm done. I did. I want to hear. I'm ready to fight. Let's let's. Just tell me real quick before we move on to the, I need to know. So it's it's actually about getting the awareness out. So when you do it, you have like a sign up sheet, right? Like, hey, let me get 10 sponsors or 20 sponsors. Let's do this thing. So as you talk to people, hey, Ryan, would you like to sponsor me? I'm going to do this thing. You get to spread this awareness. So when you have like 100 people doing it and they all talk to 10 people, it becomes 1,000. And then when they book like the streets to go do it, they have like all these posters and stuff. So it creates like this big visual thing. You lost me in awareness. Listen, there's so many runs, walks, jogs, for blah, right? Yeah. You want awareness? Put me in a fucking uh, dunk tank. No, uh, put me in a white, like one of those motorcycle mm -hmm. suit things. I don't yeah. know if you want. And to have me go through a flaming ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The boy, I was like, yeah. I want a motorcycle through a flaming fucking ring, right? Yeah. Like, like a flaming. That's cross. awareness. With a little mini cape. For some reason, the cape yeah. can't go over my whole back. Yeah. Right? It's a miniature cape, That's so it doesn't cape. hit the back tire. I guess. I'm right? down with that. <laughs> That's awareness. <laughs> That's awareness, son. They need to hire. That's us. tight. I like that. For That's way tight, right? I don't think you want to wear white, though. Just or how about I'll white. skydive in like a big fat sumo costume? <laughs> That's awareness. That's awareness. Yeah, yeah. Like something tight. Yeah. Not everyone does this shit. Everyone does the walks and runs yeah. and shit. The walks are kind of played out. Next story. So there was this dad in Vietnam that helped his son pull his tooth out with Bone arrow. a motorcycle, a scooter. I know what, a scorpion. A Lamborghini. He tied a string to his fucking tooth and he tickled the can, scorpion front and the tail whipped it out. Can you guys give me the dialogue? Of, like you, you're the son, you're the dad, and then give me the I'm dialogue. The dad? Yeah, you're the dad. Give me the dialogue of what happened. Daddy, the tooth is the loo. I have oh, a good idea. What you want to do? Do you want to see a scorpion? No. <laughs> Too bad, motherfucker. <laughs> so he goes to the river, right? 
and then he ties a fish string on one tooth and then puts like a fucking catfish nugget on the end and throws it in the water and when the catfish catches that motherfucker, it takes the tool, so tooth out. What if you're there for four hours because there's no catfish? Yeah. There's always catfish in Vietnam. There always is. <laughs> always. Well, every single lake, every single every, lake, yeah, every bathtub. They have, <laughs> my bad guys. It's like fucking pigeons. They got a lot of catfish. <laughs> the pigeons of the sea or a river. I like overkill. I like overkill with a tooth pull. Like attach it the string to a back of a Lamborghini and like, like a rocket and go you know 120 in three three seconds. That's a viral video right there. Right, that'd be tight. My parents tried to do that shit to me. Tied my tooth, put it on a door thing, and every time they were about to close it, I went bam at the last minute. I was like, fuck no, fuck no, I can't do it. That is kind of scary. Yeah. yeah, that's really scary. Last minute they're like, okay, and I went ah. No, they prepped you. They should have yeah. just been like, all right, one, two. <laughs> no, they, they tried. They tried to close it, but I was like ready for it. Like, oh. The trick is to go to a door where you're not sure which way it's going to swing. <laughs> oh, it's, it swings both ways. <laughs> then, then you're fucked, dude. Yeah. Then there's no, you can't. They're going to go, ah, ah. So it's like, bah, bah. Yeah, That's the trick. All right, well, Ryan got it right. Do you guys Woo. remember what he said? No. Nope. Oh, what did he <laughs> say? I Arrow. It was a bow and arrow? How did you think of that? Because it was in the title. Oh, oh you cheated. Oh. She's an archery. Like, Get out of here, Ryan. It was oh. crossbow tooth fairy. You that remembered. Is. I like that. Right, you listen. I'm going to show you guys the clip. Here we go. Oh, this is tight. <laughs> he made him do it himself. <laughs> ah, no, man. He helped him. What a cute Dad kid. Dad helped him. He's a cute kid. <laughs> it's an old. Let's see. That's it's fucking man. cool. Use oh, the crossbow, God. man. You got some squeaky ass I wish ass they hold there. the fucking phone a different way. That's cute. Oh. I like how the dad can't believe it worked. <laughs> yeah. He's like, holy shit. That actually worked. That is so tight. Oh, cute. Damn, no wonder his teeth look like that. He shouldn't make it that fun. That kid will want to pull all his fucking teeth out. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. The next I clip would. is like 10 strings, all of his homies got crossbows, and all gonna fire at the same time. The worst thing that my parents ever did was give me Diamond Tap, which tastes like grape uh, soda. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I just kept sneaking that shit because it was so Shut cool. up! Oh, yeah. That's like that pink away. medicine when you get sick. Yeah. I couldn't wait to get sick so I could down that Dude, shit. and now and now kids are like, like they made Sour Patch gummies and shit, like that are vitamins. Yeah. Like kids are fucking sneaking that shit. I know I know a kid ate a whole hand, ate a whole jar of, the, of those and vitamins. And constipated. Kid in the world. <laughs> yeah. I think Obviously, David ate the whole that. thing and, and got fucked up yeah, from it. Yeah. Up. Yeah, can you imagine eating that many vitamins? Like, you grow a fucking tail. Oh, <laughs> that's all I gotta do? Yeah, <laughs> you probably. He's been wanting a tail forever. I actually read that it because we're taking so many vitamins, we're taking like too many vitamins that we're actually adding to our, our fucking tails. Isn't that interesting? What tails? I don't think I We have natural tails. What do you mean? You mean tailbone? You ever heard of your tailbone before? Sacrum? No, oh, the coccyx. the coccyx. That's oh, coccyx. Excuse me. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> the coccyx. That's the. That sounds like a toxic cock. They call it a coccyx. Yeah. It's like C O Y C X or something. I forgot. All right. Anyway, we have two cock bones. <laughs> Last story uh, that we have here: a dad, a dad, nearly. Because I almost, it was a tongue twister. Dad. <laughs> a dad. Dad. <laughs> she's she's stuck uh, with the Vietnamese yeah. accent. A dad. A day dad. Dad. Okay, so a dad nearly died from biting his fingernails. What are you talking about? Don't do this to me. <laughs> what are you talking you about? You cut your fingernails? I bite, bite my fingernails all the time. You do? Of course. They look fine. That's why? Because I bite my fingernails. Thank you. They're groomed. No, I mean, I see them. Yeah. There's so many that you could bite that you haven't yet. <laughs> well, I will. Yeah, so what he did, uh, this dad here, he's father to... Why are you speaking like that today? I don't know. I'm speaking weird, huh? I think it's the caffeine. It's because of their voice. They're, they're yeah, bad. she's fucking stuck on this. <laughs> That's <laughs> so not racist. Dad, so the dad here. <laughs> is it racist? I'm sorry. I don't appreciate your racism. Really okay, so this dad here, his name is Luke, 28 years old. Luke? <laughs> <laughs> From the UK. He was biting his nails like he always does. Yep. But then in this particular instance, he <laughs> bit the skin off the side of his nail. I do it all the time. So he just ignored it, but he needs to relax. He got, he got an infection, which oh. then spread to the rest of his body. So he got sepsis, and then oh shit, 
He experienced flu-like symptoms. It's always flu-like symptoms. Always flu -like yeah. symptoms. Bloody hell, flu-like symptoms again. He didn't use Neosporin. I mean, obviously not. Yeah. I don't use Neosporin when I cut my shit either. You gotta use Neosporin. He got bad luck too. Yeah. I, this is like when I read about people who like went swimming in the lake and some parasite crawled in their ass. <laughs> I'm always like, what the fuck? You can't do anything. Have you heard about the lady who took out her trash and then something kind of sliced her, like a small little cut, and then like they had to chop off her whole fucking leg? See what I'm saying? It's like, it's always the you weirdest little shit. I was a kid and I went with my friend to the pool, and this was like the saddest, most funniest thing that happened to me. We're both excited to go to this pool. We jump in the pool. I had a great splash. My friend, uh, it just so happened to be, you know the top of the Coke can where there's that little yeah. metal thing? Yeah. He somehow landed on it and it sliced his foot off. Ay, ay, ay. Were you swimming with David? <laughs> no, but I was just, I just thought it was so funny that like we were so excited to go and the minute he <laughs> jumps so in, he gets his foot fucking sliced open so now he gets to watch me swim and I'm just like having a good old time. <laughs> you didn't help your friend? No. Dang. That's fucked up. But no, you do the littlest thing now. Like I, I always expect. I mean, it's like, like I swear you could read a, a Daily Mirror article where yeah. it's like, this kid brushed his hair and it was the worst mistake he ever made, yeah. and like he died because he brushed. That's why I'm saying. Dude. When I'm in a plane, I don't get scared anymore because I'm like, if it's my time to go, it's my. Just time die, to go. right? Yeah. yeah. I, was, I was freaking out in Hawaii because. Um, oh yeah. I went into you know I love fucking going in the fresh water. There's a. In water the Lake pole. of Minnetonka. Like, like fucking swimming, and the fucking water's going in my mouth. Like I'm. I'm just like the waterfalls come in, I'm drinking it, I don't give a fuck, right? And then I climb up, upstream, and there's a dead fucking rat in there. And then, <laughs> and then the locals are like, watch out for rat lungworm disease. Wow. <laughs> the rat lungworm fucking parasite, right? And I'm like, no! <laughs> no, and then in your head, you're cutting back to you, like, like, yeah. like all the water, right? Yes. Taking a bath in it, like washing your yeah. hair in it. Yeah. So basically, these fucking parasites, they exist in slugs, and then they go into rats, and then they fucking kill them, and then they go into the water system, and if you drink that much, Motherfucker, it goes up into your brain to control your head like a zombie and then you die. Oh. That whole trip he thought he had it. Damn. <laughs> that shit <laughs> fucked me That's up, dude. Idea. He's a hypochondriac. Yeah, well, I'm not usually a fucking hypochondriac, but that shit fucked with my head. You are you are a little bit Fuck though. me, man. But it, I I forget it in a day. Oh, okay. I don't, it doesn't make me lean. It doesn't, but if it, you don't die like, in a day, you're like, I'm You I'm Google like, a bunch of shit all the did time. You, did you start to go like, are these my thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> that shit <laughs> fucked with me for like three days straight. Are you you're like are these a rat's thoughts or my thoughts? <laughs> Fuck with me for three days straight. Word. Knowing you, you were like, wait, I wouldn't think that normally. <laughs> Why don't I want cheese? He did change that? after that trip. Fucking He's never been the same, right? He's not, yeah. He, he got, got a mild case. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, this dude here, Luke, he spent four days in the hospital. That's so sad. Yeah, yeah. From biting his fucking nails. Sepsis from biting his nails. And then he said that they like they were cleaning out the wound in his finger. And that he, like, they just pushed out all this pus. He's like, I You know, UK nails are nasty too, though. What? What does that mean? Like, I don't know if they're known for their hygiene, because they got, like, stinky breath and, like, na nasty <laughs> nails. Bad teeth is the, the meme, though. Oh, yeah, so maybe their t his teeth infected his. Oh. His You're nails. offending so many people. Dude, I get such a weird release seeing like pus squeezed out of something. Yeah, it's like the zip up. It feels good, right? Yeah. It, it like feels good to that. watch it. Yeah. I feel that with just dirty stuff getting clean. Oh yeah, like mm. like a power washing. Yes. Yeah. I oh, I love that. Really? That does okay. nothing or to me. Squeaky like a squeegee, not squeaky, squeegee a, a window that's really dirty and then they clean it in one wipe, it's just clean. I'm like, oh. Oh, you must love infomercials. You must just fucking yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Boom. Because <laughs> they always clean everything. I do, I do. She's watching a home shopping network. <laughs> oh, the mops again, the mops. Yeah. Right. The She's like, you know when they throw this shit on the carpet and then in just one sweep and it's like oh, yeah, that perfect like line and the rest right. around yeah. it is dirty. Or they de-rust something. Oh, that's You're like, shit. oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't need Bart anymore. I'm coming. Have you guys ever had those uh, salesmen go door to door and they come to your house and then they fucking just start spraying your shit and doing like an example. No. So one came. Would you grow up in the 1950s? <laughs> no, one came to my house recently. <laughs> no, no, no. When I was a kid. Oh, okay. And then my dad answered the door and I was like, Oh, who is it? And then like he fucking did this thing. How you doing? HP Salzman. HP Salzman Industries. I want to show you this new vacuum cleaner, like that yeah, kind of he shit. Sprayed. He sprayed our fucking doormat. And then that shit was so different. I was mind blown. I was like, Dad, we gotta fucking get this shit. And I was like, I promise I'll clean if you get it. And he's all like, You're gonna clean? So I, so he actually bought it for me. And I would fucking spray everything just so I could scrub it out and see like the difference. And it blew my mind. That's tight. 
Yeah. Okay, interesting childhood. <laughs>